Hey, welcome to Cold School. So a lot of people, I say a lot of people, uh, anybody that's ever made a homemade air conditioner, ice chest air conditioner, has wondered about, yep, PC fans. So uh, I'll tell you my experience and why I use the, uh, at least at this point, why I use the um, inline fans and bilge fans, the white ones that you see in the uh, videos I've done lately, is uh, so PC fans, of course, they come in different sizes, you know, uh, different millimeters, as you can see here, in different shapes and sizes and everything, different brands, uh, different colors. And you can see also the blades, uh, the shapes, on the angles are different on some of them. Uh, the thickness of some of the fans are different, as you can see, like uh, with these the difference in the thicknesses between these two here. And uh, some of them light up with LEDs, and some of them have plugs, some of them don't. Uh, the different guards and everything. But I'll, I'll tell you from my, and even like I've shown in the other video, this is actually off of an ATV. And uh, this is a pretty, I think this is one of them. This is an ATV fan. I had said it was aluminum or metal, but now this one's plastic. The metal one is actually this one here. This frame on this one is actually metal, but you can see its blades are different too. So, while we're here, and this one came with a uh, voltage regulator, uh, but I build my voltage regulators, my speed controllers, because uh, they're more durable and when you're running the fan and the pump. So anyway, what I wanted to share was um, when you put this fan, well, let's, let's start with this, this radiator here. This is a water cooling radiator for a PC, so you can make uh, homemade air conditioners or ice chest air conditioners using uh, PC parts, but I wanted to tell you one really, 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 really important thing uh, about using that, and that is... So let's find one that fits first. This one's pretty thick. Okay, so you can see the bolt pattern on this one. They match, so this fan would go on there. And uh, so one, so a couple of things. So here's some important stuff. So if you do use a PC radiator, let, let's say it's, uh, will it stand up? Okay, so it's standing up, and you use a PC fan of any kind, any brand. Um, one important thing is you, if the, uh, let's pretend that the pump is in the back. So you always want to put the fan pulling the air through the radiator. Let me back up through the radiator from the other side and then blowing on you or in the room on this side. You don't, and you want to make sure the fan is, you know, pointing the right way. Some fans, if you hook up the positive and the negative backwards, they'll, it'll reverse the direction of the fan. And some of them don't operate backwards. It, it won't, on 12 volt, it won't blow it up or burn it up, but it, uh, some work and some don't. So, but you want to make sure you don't put the fan on the back side and you can have the radiator face in either way. It doesn't matter, but you don't want to push push the uh, air through the radiator because what happens is it pulls the air through the fan and it just goes up against all the blades and then scatters coming out. So let me back this up a little bit. So you always want to make sure you're pulling the air through. Another thing about PC fans, why I haven't uh, made a public design yet, is it when you hook it up to the radiator, I'm not sure which way this one blows, I just have it this way, um, you wanna pull it, okay. But the thing about PC fans, this is really important, is when they blow out, you can see how big this center piece is. When they blow out, the air scatters. It doesn't come straight out, like if you want personal air conditioning relief on your body. So, um, it, it blows, it kind of just scatters out. I mean, really just scatters. And also, sometimes you can't even feel it. You can put your hand right here and can't even feel it. So I just want to warn everybody, if you're trying to build this first to save your money, and what you would want to do is you want to separate it and put space between it. And then, uh, well, this the jury's still out on this. I've... I've 
experiment it a little bit. Let me just say this. So on the on the fans that I do use that are inline fans, the fan is, for instance, this thick, but the the cylinder that it's in is this wide, so it's inline. This is like a box fan. There's what you could do is put a tubing on the front of it to come out, and then you're you're uh, condensing the diameter of the air so when it comes out the end then it's controlled but if you just put this on there like that it just kind of scatters it, it's really not that effective uh, i've got a mess in here but i want to show you what i did try to do and this will probably be a different size sorry for the i'll start editing these videos soon but for now the information is kind of more the the important thing but um and then i'll put some quality in there i'm trying to oh there we go okay so this is something i had uh experimented with and these you find when people do uh try to do this with one hand bitcoin uh i say bitcoin cryptocurrency mining on a computer they use these when they put them on the fan and the radiator to help uh move the heat out of the uh, computer out of the PC and this is kind of like almost like using an inline and you put that on there and then it helps uh, give it a little direction but still the way in, whether you have four blades five blades six blades seven blades eight blades it doesn't matter how many blades it's the, the air scatters out I mean really bad and putting this on there doesn't really help um, I've even had stuff like this PVC plumbing parts to make it really effective, whatever you put on there, you would, uh, I would make it no less than maybe, I mean, I haven't tested this, but I'd say no less than six, eight, ten inches long. And, uh, that's how I would do it. And then you'll get the effect of the way these fans work. You can see the fan is set in there. The blade is on this end of the fan and it pushes out this side. So the blade or what you would say the PC fan. Let's point them the same way, just for example. So the fan on is right here on the end, and then it it harnesses the air to blow out the front. So with this one, the fan is. Uh, this is kind of hard to see. Let's just pretend it blows that way, which it might. The fan is on the back, and then you can see right there. The, the air just flies everywhere. But then if you put this on there, it's still not quite as long, but it's still not designed it, to harness it for... So I guess trying to explain here. So if you sit in front of an air conditioner, homemade air conditioner, ice chest air conditioner using this, you can sit four feet away and feel the air beaming on you, cold air. But if you use this, it's not gonna do that. So I would say to, you know, get at least six inches of some type of tubing to harness the air. But anyway, that's just a warning for anybody wanting to use a PC fan to build a uh, homemade or ice chest air conditioner. I mean, that's really important because you'll spend five, 15 bucks on a fan, put it on a radiator or even one of the radiators that I use uh, like this one here. This is actually a heater core off a car. And uh, so I use them for radiators to... Uh, transfer the the temperature of the the energy from the ice ice water into the aluminum for the fans so the air can go across it but you can see also i put the distance of the fan from here you know at least six inches away from the radiator to harness the uh, the, the air that i can from the radiator so anyway uh, that's just really important. You want to make sure that you uh, definitely want to make sure you don't build something like that, and expect, especially if you're in uh, the Philippines or Vietnam or Saudi Arabia or Afghanistan and you're building something you spend and you've only got a limited amount of money and you put this together, you're not going to be satisfied. So just one little warning there. It's going to take a little uh, engineering to make it work if you use a PC fan. So thanks for watching. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook too. Uh, Cold School is actually uh, facebook.com slash official Cold School. And I hope you all have a good day.